week two of the uh, weekly wine Kaizo race. And already Mario is having a bad time. This one, this level is designed by Tub Eleven, and he changed what is in this screen, but didn't change Mario's behavior for it. Yeah, cord tanglage, and that's fun, and that is funny to me. All right, so, oh, Blind Kaizo Race Week Two. Good luck and have fun. Just jump right in. Find out what the name of this level is in a moment. Kaizo 3 Throwback. Oh. Okay. All right. So Kaizo 3 has a, uh, a mole level. Damn it. I got pushed off the edge. Kaizo 3 has a uh, mole level where you have to uh, basically the level scrolls by you as you exist on this mole. And there's all these obstacles and shit. Like things that'll eat your spin jump. Like landing. I gotta remember to spin jump off of that. Come on. Nope, didn't get the bounce. So that's what that's what the uh, throwback is, obviously. No, I needed that to shell jump with. Uh, and there's also no guarantee that I didn't need to get that back. No, I. Uh, Yep. So yeah, if I don't uh, hit that turn block, the saw just gets squeezed off. I got crushed. This one's harder, for sure. Nope. Gotta get much closer. Man, that is that is tight and there's it's nothing you can do about it. It's how much this saw goes. Damn. Yeah, so the the munchers at the bottom are on uh, layer 2. I think so is the saw. You got to get lower before you throw. Nope. I don't know why I just was like floating out there. Like, I don't know what my plan was. Damn it. I'm not sure if I would, uh, oh, high bounce. I'm not sure if I would prefer a mold of bouncing on this saw. Jesus. Apparently I uh, didn't get the jump. That's fine. It's really tough when you think you're getting that big bounce and you are not. I hit a muncher. That'll ha that's going to happen a few times this level. I really hope this level has a checkpoint that is soon. Oh, is it? it it's tracking the time up top for me. Well, it's only active when I'm alive, but that's fine. This one's going to take a little while. That is for sure. Oh, come on. Just get on the saw. You don't have to jump super early. I can catch it on the way back. What am I doing? That is horse shit. <laughs> Freaking. 
turn block or blue block. Run, run. Oh, I needed to jump off of it there. Did they in... Why am I... I continue to insist on getting to... Uh... That was a genius move. Um, jumping on the saw immediately when I don't have to. And there, even as I talk about how it's not the right move, I do it. Relax. Get it on the way back. You're just like, oh, jump on the saw. That's the move. Let's do it. Damn. Or the, uh, as we learned the other night, the grinder. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. We really gotta come up underneath that shell. That's what you want. That's what you're looking to do. Wait, yeah. Wasn't hitting the turn block anyway. I hate pressing jump late. I'm not getting the uh, the speed I'm expecting to get off of that. I don't think I have to turn back to get that shell jump. Gosh. Also, there's a factor with that first uh, blue block throw and that the, uh, the turn block is moving with the level. So Damn it. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That was way too close to that wall. I hate bouncing on saws. Let me rephrase that. I'm bad at bouncing on... I'm not as good at bouncing on saws as I sh probably should be. Okay. Can I grab while spin jumping? Can I grab those out of the air while spin jumping? Lesson learned. Hmm... go we're up no we actually were making progress damn it I grabbed it and still got crushed. Interesting.
Also interesting how, whoops. That was also an interesting strat of just dropping and kicking it. <laughs> Shit. There we go. Oh. What a mistake to make. Wanted that coin for luck. Hitbox on this saw. Perfect. Get on there. No, I shouldn't have bounced high. That was a mistake. See, at least the um, at least the uh, mole. When you're on it, you're on it. You don't have to worry about continuously bouncing to stay on it. Damn it. Ooh. Ah! That has to be the checkpoint right there. We were so close. All right, we actually made progress on this level finally. I got I made that mistake of hanging out on the wiggler a little bit. Oh, you need to give me that shell jump. I had that. That one I didn't. That one you're you're right to let me die on. No, stupid grinder. It's always moving. It's always moving away from where you need it to be. in there stupid muncher oh got in oh. <laughs> oh almost made that cleanly through oops All right. Keep 
good. Damn it! I'm. A, I don't want to get too close to the uh to the mun to the wall of muncher there, or the wall of the muncher on top, I should say. And so I'm trying to pull back a bit. Nope. Damn it. I got some weird bounces. You jump late. Good. All right, in there. Damn it. The late jump grab is just killing me. We should have this more consistently. Waited a little bit too long there. Damn. So close. Like I want, I want, I really want to know if it's, I'm grabbing a couple frames late or if I'm grabbing like wildly late. I don't know why I pressed left. Left is not the direction the saw or the screen was going, so. That time I just didn't, I pressed right, but not enough right. That was close. That was also close. Just down this fella till we get up to here. Somehow drop that shell as opposed to kicking it, which uh, is unfortunate. Yep. Oh, a little too close to the wall. That's fine. No. Oh, that would have worked if I got this. If that might have worked if I got the. Uh, spin jump off. That will not work. I was doing there. Damn. Oh. Sound for this one's fine. 
turn the desktop sound back on. There we go. Oh, pushed off the edge. There we go. Have some desktop sounds. Sorry about that. Uh, I should have uh, definitely turned them back on right after that last act. But believe me, you guys did not want to hear the, the raucous that I was experiencing due to the glitch with the sound. See, that time, I swear I pressed jump before the bounce. Come on, stop floating off the saw. Perfectly executed. bounces on uh, that transition, but it's fine. Oh. No! Wiggler butt! Just got wiggler butted. Oh. It was with that low bounce. Oh. Alright, yeah, this level's giving us some trouble. We're not even near the checkpoint yet. that checkpoint a number of times I think oh. no <laughs> what 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 was that well we saw the checkpoint oh. But I uh, didn't get, I feel like I got a uh, short changed bounce. Oh. No, you got to go. There needs to be a, uh, a little bounce in between there. Nope. That was strange. I thought I jumped. And also, I feel like the uh, block release late... <laughs> Gotta let go of that jump button. No! Oh. Not, 
Nah. Accent let go run. Damn it. Come on. I'm trying like goofy stuff now just to try to make it more consistent when I should just do the uh the thing that has been consistent so far. God, I had that. Give it to me when I shell jump. When the shell is un is moving and under my feet. Like that. No, I wanted one low bounce and then getting up there, but it uh didn't go. Yeah, it's too far, too far to the side. Nope. Come on, we got that checkpoint. Too early. Oh. Damn. At this rate, oh. looks like this is going to be the last level we get done. Unless uh, the level three is marked, or week three is marked like as an extremely easy level. Christmas Eve to you, sir. How are you this fine evening? Oh. Yeah, hot 30 minutes left before uh, we can drop the Eve. Oh. Aww. I'll jump just a little too long there. I don't know why I bounced high. Oh. Damn it. I just had to jump. Just had to jump. Oh. Nope. Doing wonderful waiting for those sugar plums. Yep, it'll be uh, a while for me. I have a, a, an odd tradition of staying up extremely late on Christmas Eve. There were, there was a definite time period where oh. I just had to kick the shell. No. A definite time period where like I just my plan on Christmas Eve was not to sleep that was like I want to say like 14 to 22 like I just did not sleep stayed up all night A kid who used to think like, you, you could catch Santa. Oh. You think it just stuck with you? There you go. Honestly, I did it because it was easier for me to stay up all night than to get up early. <laughs> also, I, uh, um, would inevitably have gotten some video game. Mm, I can 
cannot believe I died on that muncher. So close. You gotta get the bits. Uh, you can get bits by, like, watching videos or, as Twitch probably wants you to get them, paying the ducats. I don't ever... The only... I said uh, when I got affiliate, the only thing I ever really cared about in the affiliate, um, or one of the, ben the affiliate benefits, if you will, oh, damn it, is, um, oh, how you do it? I have no idea. Press the cheer button and see how many bits you have. Um, the only uh, benefit I truly, truly wanted from the affiliate was the quality options. I appreciate the, the sentiment. I, I really do. And, uh, but I don't ever want anybody to ever feel like they need to subscribe or cheer or give, donate, or that's why I don't have like donation set up at all. Because I work a full time job. I'm fine. Uh,. I just, just being here watching is all I could ever ask for. But yeah, I wanted the video quality option so that way people with dodgier streams, uh, or dodgier connections would be able to watch. Like people with slower or mobile data. Ouch. <clears throat> I did, uh, speak when, uh, I did swap over to the, uh, low latency stream though. So send a message, and I'll tell you, and I'll tell you as soon as I see it, and we'll test out how low lane. There it is. I see it. I hear you, buddy. So I see. Um. <laughs> I appreciate that, busy. I really do. But to be fair, any uh. You have to hit, uh, I think you have to hit a hundred bucks before Twitch will pay out anything. No! Um, so, I want to say like one cheer is one penny. I don't know. Oh, dang, wait, way too long. Um, I don't know. Oh. I honestly don't know. But I know, I do know that you oh. gotta. Oh. You have to hit 100 bucks before Twitch cuts you a check. And then affiliates get those checks every 60 days. Really, if you're owed a check, you have to wait 60 days to get the payout. Uh, those partners only wait 45 days. Ooh. <laughs> and as far as I can tell, that's the major difference between affiliate and partner. Other than that, and like partner you have to apply for. Maybe get other benefits that I didn't I wasn't looking into. But nothing. Nothing as far as like like the quality options. Ooh, we in there? We in there? Um, hold on a second. I was hitting back to the right game. Um, all right. The quality options, I feel like. I'm sure there's some like overhead on the sh on uh, Twitch's side, and that's why they they kind of gate it off. But like, it's it's one of the things that can actually affect your channel's ability to grow. Like if unless you want to sh uh, you streamer at a you stream at a lower bit rate, and people some people might be like, oh, the stream's low quality. I don't I don't want to watch low quality or you stream at a high bit rate and it lags, you're like, mm, I don't, it's lagging. I'm not gonna 
hang out to watch this lag fest. Um, and uh, so, like your your viewer base is, is narrowed to people that either uh, that either accept the quality at which you stream or have a good enough connection to <clears throat> not have it lag. So, this just opens it up. Oh. No. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. It's kind of like YouTube BS with 2K subs or as many views before you get monetized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, um, I mean, technically, it is... My, my Twitch stream is now, like, oh. fully monetized. I can do all the monetization things. It's, uh... Oh. Damn it. I'm just not. Like, the, the subscriber and the bits, that's passive and automatic. There's nothing I can do about that, and, there's, and it's fine. It's honestly fine. But, uh... Like, donations, I think you have to set something up. At least, like, in PayPal. Um, or whatever, and I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> oh. No! No, 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 no. That muncher again. Oh, I ran oh. out of time. So fucking close. Oh. Hold on. Drinking time. Okay. Get a little Christmas cheer in my belly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. And it'll it's the Christmas cheer is coming out in my gameplay. Cheers to you, sir. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> I'll be honest. I expected... You have to... Um, it's a tight uh, window to press the grab button on one of those blue blocks and not have your momentum destroyed. So I was expecting to stop. Oh. Wiggler butt. Too many cheers. <laughs> not the, oh. not tonight. This this is my first drink. I was driving with family, so driving and hang with family. Not that I don't drink from my family, but I know some people who they will drink plenty in front of friends, but you get a, a family member near them, a parent, a grandparent, a sibling, and they just go total teetotaler, which is fine. They can do them. Nobody's gonna... <clears throat> you don't want to drink. You don't got to drink. But it's just... It's just interesting. To see how we act differently around different people. Got it. No! What is happening? Okay, now we're on the bowl. All right, now we're on the bowl. This is, again, Kaizo 3. Uh, oh. oh. I have to hit that block and then throw. <sighs> checkpoint, baby. Checkpoint. That is, oh. you're getting, you get some weird momentum from this mole. And I wonder if it has to do with the vertical scrolling. But like, when I jump, I'm getting some strange momentum off this mole. Oh. Some mole momentum. Also, going from the this little screen jump, going from the vertical scroller to the uh, horizontal scroller. Nice. Oh. Very nice. Come on, Mario. Throw the block. I hate those purple blocks, man. 
throwing up works every time when you're holding up. Left and right, it's just so finicky. Oh. <laughs> That's the other thing. Can just uh, take the mole out there. We did it. Took the mole out. That's that's strange. I wonder. I wonder if I can just no no. I'm gonna be. I'm thinking like maybe just kick the blue block rather than re grab it, but. Nice. Got the side clip. God, th that jump is in, is terrible. I don't know why I just don't. Why I can't just drop you back on the mole. Maybe there's some. It's just easier to do it that way. Oh, god damn death blocks. Well, we got the uh, progress. We got the, the throw. I can wait till the turn around to get that, I think. I can wait till the turn around. We don't have to uh, jump while we're moving left. We can just do it right. There you go. Are you seeing the jump when I uh, when I come back in after the retry? Like where the screen jumps? So good at, at grabbing that block. <laughs> How many times can we clip? Wow, got a mole nose. In the gooch. Cold and wet. turn was so immediate <laughs> you, have, you have no time you have to make that jump while he is still going to the left this is this is uh tough but fun this is this this part's actually fun the salt part was uh, getting on my nerves a little bit. Oh. <laughs> but this part's okay. Just glad we got that checkpoint finally. After eyeballing it a couple times. That works. Oh. Damn. All right. I don't mind not getting the, the blue block to throw as long as it still hits that turn block, does what it's supposed to do. Oh. That time it did not. It's, it's only when I press a button it jumps like that. Huh. Oh. Weird. Here, watch. Ready? And now I push a button and it jumps over to the left. Hmm. Has to be something with, uh, with the scrolling. Oh. 
Oh. Need to get back on that mole and then jump again, or can we ride it under? I think we have to jump again. That section was pretty interesting. You jump onto, uh... Damn. <laughs> the mole cowlick got me. <clears throat> oh, we're jumping onto the box. We're turning it on and off. Too high. Bump. See when I hit the block and uh, get like shoved out of it to the left there. All right, take it. Got to actually make it to the mole. Got to make it to the mole. Shell? Shell jump? Ow. No! You actually have to kick there! Ugh. We're, we're getting close. I think we're getting close. turn back on that have to have to keep pressing to the right left that time it's left that part mm. go to the coins go to the coins the coins are not liars they help <clears throat> they tell you what to do well sometimes you got to hit the box the blocks next to the coins not just grab the coin itself there you go Slow on that jump. I was a little slow. Thank you, sir. We're getting there. I think I think I saw the end. Because I think the uh the Oh, we actually kicked it for once. Instead of dropping it. Um I believe that the death block that's hollow. Uh, that it wasn't colored into the top there. I think that'll kill the mole. So, if that's the case, then our ride is gone. So, we must be 
Ow. You can land on the mole. I can land on the mole again. It's fine. But I, I don't have to go straight to that... Straight to that block. I don't. I, it's nice to, but... I don't think it's 100% necessary. We can just land on the mole. in uh, Pickle World towards the end. Ooh. Oh, double fail. How do you figure this shit out so quick? Oh, it's it, watching. Like, just watching so much Kaizo that like, you know the death block is gonna kill you. So, and that there are blocks that will like, kill anything. It'll kill, like, you when you're on a Yoshi and, or, like, cause your Yoshi to explode or... So... It's, it's a guess. I could be wrong. No! I can wait. Why am I trying to jump? The munchers will come up. The block will run on the munchers. Why? I get... I mean, there's a window that's tighter, slightly, but... Not so much tighter. As far as, like... The moves to go and things. It, it's wow. coins usually meet jump, and then when you see an on off switch, you usually have to hit it. Like, there's not optional on off switches. Because in the, in the base game. Oh, wow. nice re grab, Mario. Very nice. Um, Usually the on-off switches were either to progress and you'd be in a holding pattern until you got it, or it was a path choice where you, like, go high or low. Um, but... Kaizo is, uh... Very much about... There's only one way to go. Thanks. Yep, there's the door. Ow. Just die there. I need to actually walk. Maybe hold right. Maybe I wasn't holding right. I don't know. Those fucking blocks, dude. Mind Ow. of their own. Who knows what they're gonna do? I was I was slow. What to happen there? Like skull, obviously don't touch, and the skulls are usually ouch, um, usually just a different sprite for the for the munchers. So if you ever wonder what it, well these blocks are going over munchers, just imagine like that is a muncher's hitbox, exactly. Oh, we got the throw. So you can see like when the mouth of the muncher is open. Let me, let me see if I can uh, pause it. At that moment, we can investigate, even though I'm timing this. So you see, like, the muncher's mouth is open, and that block is exactly the width of it. And if you touch any part of that muncher, you are done. So, it's the munchers are exactly one tile, and... Every part of them kills you. And on this level, uh, the coins mean throw. Yes. Get in. In the door. Oh, there's another part? You son of a bi- Oh, no. It went off the screen. It went off the screen. It went off the screen. Frickin' disco shell. Of course it ends on a disco shell. I believe the Kaizo 3 level ended on a disco shell. Wow! <laughs> that, 
We threw that block up so hard it exploded. Um, it's just knowing the mechanics. If you, if anybody who wishes to learn the uh, the mechanics of Kaizo, just like the basics, uh, and a lot of the basics, uh, you're not gonna learn everything, obviously, especially when levels have like their their own shit that they put in. Like those, like the jump blocks and the propeller helmet from Lord Pickle World. Um, if you want to learn, like, just everything that you will most likely encounter in a vanilla game, a vanilla ROM hack of Mario, um, I suggest learn to Kaizo. It is just informative, gives you a lot of opportunity to practice. Uh, it's not focused on, like, difficulty. But it does have some challenging levels, for sure. Um, it basically takes you through... Um, as each level has its own trick assigned to it. Like shell jump, or spinning off of a uh, thwomp, or torpedo ted. Um, that's all you do when you get to the end of the level. And... Oop, damn it. I would have been fine if I actually got the turn ball. Um, a lot of levels are one screen because you only really need one screen for a shell jump and then at the end after like 10 levels or so it has a quote exam level where it um, you just go through all the tricks that you just learned nothing from like previous yeah this is what we want this is what we want Boom. Get up there. Alright, do not let the disco shell die. Ow. It's so weird because the floor is moving, which moves the disco shell. That disco shell did not behave at all like I was expecting it to. And it is 100% because the floor is also moving. So weird. But yeah, learn to Kaizo. Excellent ROM hack. Um, for the most part. <laughs> Has manual resets too, so you can, if you ever get yourself stuck, you can just reset and watch it move. Nope. Nope. Get me out of here. I don't give a shit about the moon. Get me the fuck out. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Alright, that took oh, under an hour. I will accept that. I'm guessing this level was given a moderate to high difficulty. This one was given, in their old system, 3 out of 5 stars. So that's moderate. Moderate difficulty. The first one we played was 1 star. The next one is 2... But, ah, it's already Christmas. Merry Christmas, Busy. Thanks for stopping by to the show. Uh, I'm going to stop uh, recording here. Hold on. Because we're done the level.